Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be my skincare routine for the winter time. Since my last video, a lot has changed, but my routine has stayed the same. I still follow the same process. I'm just using different products and I wanted to shine light on a company that is number one, way more affordable than a lot of the products that I talked about last time, but they're still just as effective. And I was really surprised at how open this company is and how honest it is. Um, they actually have an entire website where they have this thing called the Beautypedia. Beautypedia, which is like encyclopedia. And you can go on there and type a name of any product that you've ever tried or something that you're curious about. And they have unbiased reviews on there. And they gave a lot of other products positive reviews, even though they weren't made by that company. That made them credible in my book. I also love the fact that they had a ton of different lines for all types of skincare concerns. So I actually had a one-on-one -on -one consultation with them over the phone and I told him what my main concerns were, which are dry skin and also anti-aging. I just turned 29, so anti-aging has become even more crucial for me. Like I am really stepping up my game. They send me a ton of their products from their uh, resist line, which today I'm going to share with you the ones that I personally loved and the ones that I would recommend. I also have a discount code to share with you guys at the end of this video if you see anything that you like, so stay tuned for that. Um, but for now, we're just going to go ahead and jump into my skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoy it. I always start off by removing all of my makeup. I don't care what time it is. If it is like three in the morning, I will still get up and take my makeup off because you don't want clogged pores. And for me, I find that when I wear makeup for a really long time, my skin gets really, really dehydrated. So I always make sure to take my makeup off. I either use an oil-based makeup remover or makeup removing wipes. Sometimes if I'm wearing very minimal makeup or no makeup at all, I can skip that part and just go straight to my face wash. This one is by Paula's Choice. It is the Resist Optimal Results Hydrating Cleanser, which is a, a really milky consistency. It's not gonna deplete your skin of its natural oils. I love the fact that it comes in a pump. I have to say that I'm very impressed with the packaging from all of the Paula's Choice products. I've been reaching for my Foreal a lot more than my Clarisonic. So I use that with my cleanser, and it does a really great job of cleansing my skin and getting it prepped for the next step. Next, I like to go in with a toner, and this is called the Replenishing Toner, and it gets it ready for the next products. It also does a good job of removing any residual makeup that your cleanser missed, although your cleanser shouldn't miss that much makeup. But especially like right underneath my eyes, like where my eyeliner goes, I always find there's a little bit left on there. So that's what the toner kind of gets off. I use a toner with these cotton swabs, which I hauled recently, and I love them, you guys. They are so, so soft. So this combined with the milky toner just feels so pampering, and I really like it. Now on days that I feel like I need to do a little bit of exfoliating, but I don't necessarily have a lot of time to do the whole exfoliating regime, regime, however you say it, um, I will go back to the cotton rounds that I was using before. These are the ones that I get off of Amazon. So I'll apply the toner to the side that is textured and it's perfect for just a quick exfoliating. So I usually like to wrap it around my finger like that after I've applied the toner and just use that around my nose because that's the place that tends to flake up a lot more during the winter months. And it's just a quick little exfoliating and my skin is nice and smooth and ready for the rest of the product. So I really like that. After you cleanse and tone, it's time for any treatment that you want. So you apply a treatment before you apply a moisturizer. So the treatment that I've been using is vitamin C. I've never used vitamin C before. I really didn't understand why you needed vitamin C. This is really good for collagen production. It's also gonna help diminish any dark spots or sun damage. So it's really good for any skin tone. You don't have to have dry skin. You can have oily skin, normal skin. Vitamin C is just good overall. Also something that I recently learned is that this is going to boost the uh, effects of any sunscreen that you use which I had no idea that vitamin C was capable of that. So I'll take this in between my fingers and I'll concentrate the product underneath my eye area where my smile lines are and also my forehead. And then I will distribute whatever's left on all of my skin. I'll also bring it down into my neck area. I use this at day and night. At night, I like to add an extra step and just add a, another treatment on top of my vitamin C. So after I've applied my treatment, and this again goes for any skincare routine, I go in with my moisturizer. And the moisturizer I've been using that has actually doubled as my eye moisturizer and my face moisturizer because it does the same exact thing an eye moisturizer would do is the Resist Intensive Repair Cream. It is for dry to very dry skin. And again, I just have to point out 
Look at that, it is a pump. I'm ecstatic that there's actually a moisturizer that comes in a pump and it doesn't compromise the richness of the cream. And this also has retinol in it. Retinol is really good for cell turnover. It's really good for acne. It can also help with reducing the appearance of pores. It's just a really phenomenal ingredient. However, it does come with its setbacks. It is a very, very dry ingredient. So you have to build your tolerance to it. And this has 0.01%, which sounds like nothing, but that's just how potent retinol is. It took me about a week for my skin to adjust to it. Uh, my entire face felt fine. It was just around my nose area, which happens to be the most sensitive part of my entire face. It was feeling a little bit dry and a little bit red. So I did go in with an additional oil. I used Madakuya oil on the nose area, even on top of this, but it was so weird because it did a phenomenal job of hydrating the rest of my skin. My skin feels very plump, hydrated, and I'm still getting that retinol. I use this at night and also in the daytime, but in the daytime, I always put a sunscreen over it because it does make your skin very extra sensitive to the sun. So I just take one full pump and I distribute that all over my skin. And then I work the rest of it into my neck and I also work the rest of it into my hands and fingers. A lot of you guys ask me, how do I keep my hands so moisturized? And that's how. Anything that I put on my face, I transfer it onto my hands. Aside from that, I've still been using my castor oil on my eyelashes and a lot of you guys have noticed. And of course, I like to apply a lip balm. And I know I mentioned this in my past skincare video, but I drink a lot, a lot of water. And I feel like that has a lot to do with my skin staying nice and hydrated. I drink about 50 ounces of water a day. Every time you glance at your phone, take a sip of water. I guarantee you will meet your goal by the end of the day. If you don't like water, try drinking tea. Try not to put any artificial sweetener in it or maybe just honey, but definitely water is very, very important. Even if you have oily skin, water is still important for you. <laughs> I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you guys are interested in any of the Paula's Choice products, you can use the code PRLIZ20 and that will give you 20% off your entire order. I highly recommend you try the uh, phone consultation. They are so good and they can really guide you. They'll basically just ask you some questions about your skin and you can use that time to address any major concerns that you have and as always, I'm always reading your recommendations down in the comment section. So. Leave me any recommendations that you may have and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.